Hi everybody! Today is Halloween, so happy Halloween! Today we are going to start off by decorating pumpkins without carving them so you guys have an alternative to decorating pumpkins. We also are going to go through a few fun Halloween treats that you can make, so let's get started. Mackenzie and I are starting off with two pumpkins. I have the white pumpkin and Mackenzie has the orange pumpkin. We are doing just our thumbprints on the pumpkin and we are going to make them into things. So right now I used my thumb and went ahead with orange and did little pumpkins. Mackenzie is fingerprinting her pumpkin and going over the white with black to make her white thumbprints into ghosts. We just wanted to show you how you can decorate pumpkins. These are our finished products. This is my pumpkin with pumpkins on it. That's Mackenzie's pumpkin with ghosts. And now we are going to get into ice cream. We're going to make our own homemade ice cream. These are the ingredients you are going to need. Hi everyone, so we are going to start off with a big gallon bag filled with about two cups of ice, some vanilla extract, some half and half, some ice cream salt, but any salt will be good, and sprinkles. And, of course, candy of your choice. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my big bag of ice and put it off to the side. I'm going to take a smaller bag that's going to fit inside the gallon bag. I'm going to open it. I'm going to fill it with about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to go in with a whole entire bottle of half and half. You also are going to need to put in about a half a cup of sugar. Now you're going to go ahead and close that up tightly. Make sure it is all the way closed. Now I'm going to go in with the ice cream salt and pour it into the ice. Now you are going to put the little bag with the creamer and everything inside the large bag with the ice and seal them both up tightly. Now you are going to get shaken. I had to ask for help, but after Cole was done shaking it, I went ahead and took it out. As you can see, it's not a liquid anymore. We have our ice cream, so we're going to open it up and plate it. Hi everyone! Now we are going to go ahead and make some Halloween bark. For this you are going to need some melting chocolate and of course candy of your choice. You are also are going to need some parchment paper. I just put it on a baking sheet so it doesn't get messy. You are going to start off with over a cup of chocolate, you are going to put it in the microwaves for intervals of 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you are going to take it out and stir it and repeat the process. So after it is all melted, we can get started. You are just simply going to pour it onto the parchment paper. Thank you. 
Once you get all of the chocolate out, you're going to go ahead and smooth it around. The shape does not matter because we are just going to break this up. So after you get it all smoothed out, you're going to go in with the candies of your choice. I went ahead and did candied eyes, some candy corn. I went in with M&Ms, chocolate sprinkles, and some nerds. After I got all my candies laid down, I went ahead and melted some dark melting chocolate and I'm just going to drizzle it over the top. But once you are done decorating your bark, you are going to let it sit for five to 10 minutes so it can dry and harden. And once that is done, you are just going to simply break it up however you choose. And that is our Halloween bark. Now we are going to get started on another fun tree. You are going to need popcorn of your choice. I have a popcorn machine, so I have the kernels to pop. You are going to need a bowl, whatever melting chocolate you choose, and of course, candies of your choosing. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to start off by popping my popcorn. So I'm measuring out for my popcorn machine. Next, we are going to do the chocolate so we are going to put it in the microwave for 30 second intervals and after 30 seconds take it out and stir it continue the process until it is all melted now you are just going to pour the chocolate all over your popcorn I shook the bowl a little bit so the popcorn can rotate and I can pour more chocolate on the popcorn that's at the bottom.
Immediately after pouring the chocolate in, you are going to go in with the candies of your choosing. I went in with candy corn, with nerds, with chocolate sprinkles, and the green sour punch straws. But once you decorate it to how you like, you are going to let it sit and dry. I went ahead and put mine in cupcake holders. And this is the final outcome this is all of them bye everyone i hope you enjoyed our halloween video and i hope you guys are staying safe bye